each can has its own, you know, areas of concern. The concrete can was the doors and locks. The Renaissance can with the paint chipping, the locks, the doors, and the liners. It's not containing trash. It's being broken into frequently. So that idea that we need to have a trash can that works for the city of San Francisco came from seeing how the current cans are not working. So we wanted something that is um, you know, able to enclose a rolling toter so that uh, when Recology comes to pick up a trash can, they can just hook it into their truck. That way we reduce injuries and accidents. It also needs to have a recycling exchange and also not have a big enough opening for people to throw large pieces of contents into there. We want to be able to remove the garbage from the streets, make sure everything is clear, and at the same time look good while we're doing it. So we want it to be compatible with the surrounding environment as well as not drawing too much attention to it. We want it to be subtle enough, but we want it to look unique. There isn't a lot that is available to meet this requirement, so then we thought, you know, this idea of, you know, we need to design our own trash can. We need to go out to a professional um, industrial designer who has the experience to do a product from design to prototyping to fabrication. They came up with like 15 or 20 different ideas. We picked three that we think would work best for the city. So we have a total of three custom design trash cans and three off-the-shelf cans. We'll be putting 26 in our pilot program strategically across the city. We're trying to uh, come up with one design. If this trash can is able to perform the way it's designed, it's going to save us in the long term because Public Works is also spending a lot of money um, to maintain the current trash cans. So if we're able to come up with a solution that would sort of minimize that long-term maintenance in the next 10, 20, 30 years, it's going to save us in the long run. We're trying as hard as we can to, uh, to pick materials that are going to last a very long time. Obviously that's a variable depending on whether you put it at the beach or if you put it you know, somewhere that's dry. As much as we can, we're using stainless steel, which is what was uh, designated by the industrial designer. The uh, hot dip galvanized coating that we're picking for the salt and pepper is actually about a 70 year coating. So it's, you see it on lamp posts and a bunch of other things. It's pretty durable. We're confident that the materials we're picking will, will have a good longevity. The designs are very attractive and, and I think the, the, the materials are going to be really durable. And I think you, you know, people that come to San Francisco or people that live in San Francisco, these will be things that you won't see any, in any other place. And that's going to be, you know, it's going to be a San Francisco thing. I think the, the project itself is not a complicated one, but like going through all of this process to get it um, to properly do our outreach so that everyone is aware of this project um, and gathering all you know the agency approvals, that's the most challenging part of the project. So there's going to be a, an online survey for the public. We're going to include QR code stickers on each of the pilot trash cans so someone can just scan it with their phone and it'll take them to the um, public survey. We'll analyze the data and provide a recommendation to our executive leadership team uh, to make a final selection. I can see people wanting to put these cans in places so that you know, the world will see you can remove garbage in a really beautiful way.